Now I don't. I don't. You know, I'm not saying that. I I mean I I really don't like. The only the only way I would be put in that position is if um. Is if something happens to my family. If something was to happen to my family, that that's how I would be put in that position. You know, and you know, my little girl, my immediate family, like. I'm not I'm not afraid of going and, and, and handle what needs to be handled. But I mean as far as all the dumb shit, um that's it. I'm I ain't gonna get caught up for no stupid shit. Um I I see myself as uh I, I am a I am a family man, but um I mean when push comes to shove I don't forget where I come from. That's you know, I mean, people could take it however they want, you know. But um, but like I make my my, I don't really trip on that. I don't I don't think too much on it, you know. And I don't let anybody else's judgment uh affect me. Like I don't, for, you know, with all due respect, I don't really give a fuck what you think. I I really don't. Like so, I, I'm I'm comfortable with that. It was like I was doing so so good, but it, it, it all came to a stop. Um, it was like my last three months on parole, and um, I was living at a new place. Um, and, and my um, one of my one of my friends, you know, one of my best friends, he 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 he, he was right there. He he was helping me move, and um, the parole did a did a sweep like around five in the morning. I had been out already like two years, so um. They um they came in, they tried to find guns, you know, the whole works, guns, drugs, all that, thinking that I was still messing around. They didn't find nothing, but they said um that um that my friend Art was a gang member, so um so they tried to take me in. So I ended up getting out but I had to stay thirty days in, in the county jail. So um that kinda put a little put a little damper on my on my whole program right there. And um but it was kinda like a snap back to reality you could say. Um I mean, it, that's that that's um the world that I was living in, you know. I mean, um that that was that was reality at, at, at its finest, right there. And 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 I, and I never really forget it, you know, because I mean, everything out here, you know, in a flash, it could all be gone, and I could be back in the system. But um, I mean, so that that, that happened, uh, and right after that, um, I ended up um filming a, a movie called A Better Life. It was originally called The Gardener, but it got changed with, within um after they had filmed it. So um, they ended up, um, you could say, beefing up my scene, and um, so I got I got a character th w throughout the movie, and um, yeah, it, it's pretty good. Um, it, it's director Chris White's. Um, he directed New Moon, which was the um, the one after Twilight, and it's coming out th this this year actually, and, and I'm really I'm I'm really happy to be part of it because it, it's it's not like your your normal East LA gang gang movie that that our people. Or most of the time, um, like like we're cast as you know they said in the '90s we were cast as either maids or you were cast as a gangster. That was the only that was the only thing that that our culture really was cast as. And, and this one it's more it, it's more about our culture, about the family, and, and about the struggles that our people go through these days. And and it and it's a movie that you could take your your mom, your aunt, and, and a lot of it's done in Spanish. So you know there's a lot of subtitles and and I'm just you know. I, if, if it would have been like any other movie, like if it would have been a gangster movie or this movie about our people, I would have, I would have like hands down just just been involved with this. And so yeah, it's it's gonna be really good. And and I really think this is a this is a stamp in, in, in Hollywood, you know, as for for our people coming out. And um, so yeah, I mean that, that that's coming out. And um, what else did I work on? I worked on um, I did Rampart. Um, director um, director. Oh, Oren Moverman starring um, Ice Cube and Woody Harrelson. So that was pretty cool being on a scene with Woody Harrelson. Um, he's a legend, you know, and um, that was filmed in, in December. What else did I do? Uh, Southland. I co-starred this year on, on Southland. I was on four episodes, four, seven, eight in the season finale. Um, yeah, and, and that was also something great, great in my career. Um, it put me on like I, I got an official co-star role. So um and, and um and yeah and, and I just been really like uh, focused on, on on my acting uh, on the craft on on me really like get getting involved in this um I've been going to school for like the, a little over a year I'm really taking it seriously 
um, really scene study, really doing my monologues, really doing my work as an actor. Behind every actor is a great coach, and, and, and that's just what it is, and, and, I, and I recognize that, and, and, and that's what I'm really trying to, um, I, I, I'm trying, like, I, of course, you know, I'm stereotyped that, as the gangster, that that's all the parts that I get, but I want to be more than that, you know, I, I really want, I really want people to see past the tattoos, see, see, see past that, that demeanor that got me involved in, and just become a great actor. And um, so th th that's what th that's what I'm doing. I I'm just moving. I just uh, finished doing a, a low budget. Well, I mean, a film doesn't matter what type of budget it is. But so I was doing an indie. I just finished doing an independent <laughs> film. Um, uh, it was um called Duke. So yeah, I mean, and, and that, that's pretty much it. And, and oh, and I just booked Sons of Anarchy. So I'll be doing that this coming up week. And um, yeah. So it, it's been pretty busy, you could say. So Southland, um, I have been, uh, you know, I've been working on it for the last for, for for the last three seasons, but this, um, I mean, the director, um, Christopher Sholak, um, I mean, he he, I mean, he's just a wonderful guy, like really giving giving us, you know, the gangster types, uh, a really a chance to 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 be out there and to really see what the industry is about, you know, um, he like I, I had a conversation with him, and he was saying that. Like even if we're not to become actors, like to just even being involved and, and seeing the whole scenery, um, with grips, with um, with with PAs do, with you know what writers, you know, there, there's just a whole field, and he really he really brought me and like a lot of people from Homeboy Industries. He gave us a chance to really see what it was all about because we we never had those doors open, and um, but like I've been doing my work, so he gave me the opportunity. Him and and um, casting director John Levy, they did ER. Um, Chris, Chris Shaw, like did ER and John Levy was the casting director. Um, they gave me a chance to 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 really um to re to really put myself out there as an actor and and, and um yeah it, it was just a, it was pretty much a a, a a wonderful thing and um yeah I was really blessed to to be able to get that opportunity. So right now um like like I said I've, I've been going to school for like the last year um and, and it, it's really um well just to put I mean the person that really helped me out her, her name's um Jamie Gertz. Um, she she she's a um, she's an actress, you know. She she's a real big actress in, in um in Hollywood, and but she's also she branched out to um to to producing. So I met her through a Better Life, which was the Gardner originally, and, and um I don't know what, what she's seen in me or what, but she really reached out and, and I told her that I was really looking for a good uh, acting coach, and which is kind of hard to find because everybody in the industry right now, I mean. They'll, they'll promise you the world, but when all comes down to it, they might not be the people for, they might be not be the person for you and they'll just take your money, which a lot of people come to Hollywood and, and, and they get their money took in like that. So I, I didn't really want to, um, I, was, I asked for her advice and, and, and she, and, and she helped me. So, so she really helped me find, um, she really helped me with the, um, I'm at the Aaron Spicer acting studio right now. And, and um, I mean, his alumni is great. You know, he, he has a lot of great people that went under him. And, and, and just their whole process, that their whole process that, that they're really doing out there, and um, the students there. I mean, it, it's just a great place to be, and, and I wouldn't want to be anywhere else at this time. I mean, like, yeah, it, it's been a busy year. I'm also getting married this year, so I mean, that, looking forward to that. Flying out to New York, um, got off parole, so um, it's my first chance to really, you know, to to um, to really go anywhere. I mean, I haven't been able to go anywhere since I was like 13 years old. I've been on probation, so I'm 27. It's the first time I got off parole, got my passport. So um, I'm also with that. Um, I mean, uh, I, I I'm getting involved in the modeling. Um, it, it's a real high fashion. I mean, I, I've done I, I've done magazines for the UK. Um, it, it, it was it, Sangre Sangra de Blue. She was a real great photographer. But so that was my like my first magazine. But um, so now I'm really um stepping it up to the modeling. Um, it, it's high fashion. They're um. I mean, they're big in the UK, um, Australia, Canada, and, and they're really trying to branch out to um, to the West Coast, Los Angeles, and, and um, I just happened to just you know connect and, and, and um, got introduced, and, and so that, that that's coming up, um, and, which is good because like I mean I've done like you could say modeling, like not really modeling, but like for people's shirts, but I mean this is just more flashy. It's more it's it's more elegant, more. Um, and and that's the route that I'm trying I'm trying to, I'm trying to hit like I mean the street stuff I have but I mean I, I want to branch out to the to the other side and, and slowly but surely I, I am 
and um they're, they're, it's called um go go gear um and, and they're um they're riding jackets and if you don't know i, I ride on bikes also so it, it kind of fit, fit kind of perfect so yeah i really got i got that um looking forward to and um yeah so hopefully you get a chance to see it um i got, I got another opportunity that came um you know it, it's it's like sports gear you know we got hot hats um fresh shirts you know it, it's just just everything that you could pretty much do with sports and um it's called faz so that i mean that's coming up and and i think that's another step you know well i mean with, with the riding jackets with the sports and, and everything just coming together right now so um It's good. Yeah? You yeah. working on it? Yeah. Chopping on what I got. Look yeah. athletic, okay? It, it, it's been a big year, and, and um, it, it looks like the year is going to um, continue to have a lot of store for me. So, I mean, I'm getting married, which is um, I mean, which is good. I mean, I mean, if I had to do it with anybody, it would probably be with her, you know? I mean, we got a beautiful little girl together, and um, it's going to be a, it, it's going to be a great thing, you know? I think a lot of people are happy that um that we're doing it and um so so yeah so um and also my 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 kids are involved you know it, it's a great thing to have both of my kids there including my son which you know it, it sucked i wasn't really able to be part of his life like in the first five years you know and then um he lives kind of far so it's still kind of kind of hard to um to be part of his life but I mean, I I bring him down. He I mean, he's he he knows I love him. It's just that, I mean, you know, he understand. I guess he'll understand. You know, or at least I'll, I'll try to get him to understand when he gets older. You know, um, that me and his mom just you know we we couldn't do what we were supposed to do. You know, but I mean, I just I just do my part. All I could do is just do my part these days and and, and um just take care of him when I can and and pick him up when I can and let him know that I love him when I can. And um, yeah. So I mean, as a father, I, I I feel that I should be, you know, I I feel that I'm doing my job as a father. Yeah. So um, I mean, I, I mean, how I see it is like this this place is, is um, it's it's not just for one type of people. Like you just really gotta go out there and, and um, I mean. Where where I see that 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 I was left out and I wasn't given the opportunity when I was young. Um, that's not what I want to get for my daughter, like, so, I mean, my daughter's gonna be something, you know, and, and it's just, I feel that all of us had an opportunity of becoming something, if the opportunity was there, but most of us, and most of our friends, we didn't have nothing, we didn't, we, we didn't have shit, we didn't, we didn't, we didn't have the opportunity of being a, a, a being in sports, or, or learning an instrument, or, or, or becoming an actor, or, or learning, like, we all have gifts, and, and, and if, and if there's not somebody to help you find those gifts, then you just don't know and you just end up messing up. That's what happens. So, I mean, I'll be damned if my daughter, if, if my daughter and my son's gonna be like that. So, I mean, um, I started off with, um, I'm, I, I pretty much like kind of got a um, little agency for her. So, um, I, I just wanna really get her like, like accustomed, accustomed to it kind of. So when she gets at that age, she has that, like she, she knows if that's what she wants to do, then that's what she could do. But if she doesn't like it and she wants to play sports or play an instrument or, 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 or pursue whatever gift she has, then she has the opportunity. So um, that's what I'm trying to establish right now. I mean, she just turned two. So, um, so yeah, so uh, I'm just, I just really, you know, I, I just really want, want the best from and I'm, and that's all I could do. What do you say that? <laughs> question, next question. You know, only God knows. I told that to my teacher up in UCLA. He's, his name's Dan Vining. I said that to him. I said, you know, when he found, I let him know about, not because not I wanted to show about my son, but about the writing. I said, my dream would be to write a story that my son would star in, you know, or just be in, you know. Um, don't even have to be about us. It could be about an alien. <laughs> <laughs> but oh yeah, that would be like that would be the shit. <laughs> and I told me so. Yo, know, are there any moms and sons out there in Hollywood? It goes there aren't. It goes nope. I go cool. <laughs> so yeah, yeah.
Yeah, you know, I want to say to you, Ricardo, that you already know almost everything about us, how much I feel for you, I love you, all that, I, all that, what I, I feel proud of you and all that. But I, I, I promise you that this is a discussion we had today, and, it, and it, I'm, I'm trying to better myself, Ricardo. And some of the things that come out of me in my, in my way of talking, I don't mean it. I have to learn. I, I'm soft with other people. I, I can express myself when at work. But sometimes with you, Richard, there's sometimes might maybe something under under the lining that I don't want to say to hurt you, and I might come on strong to you, and sometimes disrespectful, and I sometimes tell you that you're disrespectful to me. But I just want to tell you that I, I I'm I'm changing, I'm changing, and it's hard, it's hard, um, but. Um, I'm asking that at the same time, Ricardo, that if you could see yourself how, as strong as you come to me, I don't think we even realize, I know we'll both die for each other because we love each other so much, but sometimes because of that, we, 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 we do this, and, and not all the time, but those times, Richard, it, it, it affects us. It just, it just and, and um, as far as me, I'm, I'm gonna try to be a better, better at that, and, and I, I, you told me today, Mom, I'm going to be 30 in a couple of years. And I think you said that for a reason. I, I think you think that I don't see that, but I do. And I, um, I promise you that I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna <laughs> to think of you. It's hard for me not to think of you as a son, but I, I'm going to do my best to see you as just a man, a son man, <laughs> I guess. So, so I, could, I could separate that because there's times I know I need to just not say something. And I... And I and I, I have that with you, and I know, and I'm sorry. That's it. Own <laughs> child to my mom, mom or everything. You know, no matter how many times, what I did or or what, you know. I mean, my mom's gonna ride with me. You know, I mean, but overall, mom took care of me. You know, I mean, like she never seen that 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 I couldn't make it, and now that I make it, she was like, yeah, I told you. You know, you gotta. You just had to put your mind in it.